Do you have any tips and tricks on how to cry on command? Oh, <laughs> work on the <this> show? <laughs> <laughs> Another week of filming season three begins, and this week started a little bit iffy with some rain. As filming progressed, we got to shoot this really cool scene with Mary Magdalene and Tamar and ask them about their characters. And we're up here because we're working out an action sequence with a disciple. There it is. There it is. Everybody, we are coming to you live here on the set. It's not that bad and we're not live. But we are coming to you from the set. Yes. And it's not great. <laughs> but what we are gonna figure out today mm. is how we actually film on such a crazy rainy day like this. It's raining. It's raining, man. It's been really hot, so it's good to get some rain. I like this, I feel like a kid again. Have you ever filmed in this much rain before? I think this would be a first for rain. We got snow, we got sun, and now we got rain. Even the plants are was struggling. The lightning just seemed to be so perfectly timed every half hour that we were on hold for six hours. Finally, we got some blue sky and finally we were able to move forward. For you as an actor, what is a rain delay like for you? It means for us going and sitting in the holding room and playing different pop songs while we eat different assortment of nuts. And that was pretty much it. I can't stand the rain. They, did they get the water out or are you acting in water as we speak? They did an amazing job. It's 99% out oh. and it's just very damp. So when you step on it, sometimes you get a foot massage with some of the rocks when you step on it, which is very nice. <laughs> the coolest thing about all of this is we were delayed six hours because of the lightning, but we shot everything we needed to shoot in the second half of the day. You guys, you gotta like and share and subscribe. Like the video. Share and subscribe, that's what I meant to say. I'm a little bit loopy right now. So now we are back filming in front of Matthew's house where we'll be filming some scenes with Mary Magdalene, Tamar, and Zebedee. So can you give us a little preview of what we can expect as Tamar is finding her place, yes. just like you and Mary Magdalene? I think with any relationship, you have some challenges. Yeah. And I think the scene that we, we did yesterday is going to address some of those challenges and how we either overcome them or don't. So a little bit of growing pains as Tamar is you know, finding her place. Growth is painful, but you know, it's, it's a necessary. What has Mary learned from her past, her relapse in, from season two? One, that she's always going to be invited back and forgiven. I forgive you. That it's always like a safe and really loving place to be in this group with Jesus. Rama is beginning to read and write because of you. It shows her and us that like, you have to keep revisiting mm -hmm. these these lessons over and over and over time, like you'll realize that you are changing along with them. But just having this like one moment where it's like before and after, we got to see that in season one. I was one way and now I am completely different. And the thing that happened in between was him. You're still gonna be affected by your, your past and your pain and fears. Did you really think that you'd never struggle or sin again? And so I think the lesson is like, even if that happens, like just keep trying to grow. And I think it's just the effort of wanting to be better. How relieved are you that you're not gonna be going on a lot of emotional <laughs> going through it? <laughs> roller coasters yeah. this season? Very really. <laughs> she still has things that she's working on and there's still like, we just shot yesterday, like this, you know, scene where she's really confronted with like, she's still kind of holding on to her shame and that she really needs to let it go because yeah. um, even if Jesus has forgiven her, like she's still maybe not even forgiving herself. So wow. I think it's important for her to like really let the past go. I was wrong. I'm sorry, I relied on my own observation, my own understanding so heavily. This season, it's a little more nuanced. It's a little bit like, learning lessons from the other characters um, in these really sweet, sweet scenes. Um, awesome. But nothing, nothing <laughs> overwhelming, which is nice. <laughs> Tamar is more or less the other. She's the only Gentile in the group, and she right. comes from somewhere very far away. So maybe that's the journey that she's going on this season, is to try to see if we can figure out how we can best get her to belong with these people and, and, and earning her place here. And yeah. so that's the challenge for Tamara. And so hopefully she's successful at it. So yes. we're, we're gonna see if that's actually <laughs> successful or not when we season three comes out. Do you have any tips and tricks on how to cry on command? Oh, <laughs> work on this show? <laughs> <laughs> the writing is so incredible and they've done this beautiful job of like scenes naturally building to a 
point where you can break down. He already fixed me once. They broke again. It's good writing, so it's, it's easy to get awesome. emotional over it this time around, especially this season. I'm like, I don't have to cry anywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. it's not written in, like, I don't have to. So, so the pressure was off. So I just let myself be affected by these incredible actors opposite me. I love it when that happens when you're on set and what you practiced at home does not work for the specific scene you're actually thrown in and you feel it, it doesn't feel right. To abandon everything you just did at home and then realize that your character's going about it completely differently. Yeah, yeah I just started on. to realize about that And then when he, gets, when he gets a little snappy. And he gets a little, and it's like, it. hey, ba 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 like a dad, you know, like yeah. I was at your birth. That gives George more to respond to. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's awesome when you realize that, especially right before they get your coverage. <laughs> I just realized that, and he was interviewing me. I would say great minds think alike, but I was I'm not, about to say I'm not that. Really ready to be saying And I wasn't yeah, ready to mind. say it either, so to see how we're already like, you know. Yeah, 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 exactly. The next day was something we affectionately call on set a frater day, where we film all night Friday night, all the way to early Saturday morning. But this was really cool because it was an intense stunt scene involving Simon Z, and it was awesome to get to see how they put this together. My name's Jeremy Farnell. I'm the balloon technician here on The Chosen. Is that what's going on over here? Yeah, right now we're in the middle of filling this thing with helium. I actually have a bunch of helium inside of my truck right now, and we are filling it up so it'll fly up over and it'll give us a nice, like, throw of moonlight for the uh, shot that we're trying to do tonight. Wow. Basically allow us to play all night without actually having to bring in a bunch of extra gear. It gives a lot of latitude to the crews and they really, really enjoy that. With everything fully lit, we began work on this really interesting scene. Good moving, stay clear please. This this is better. Yeah. Even though, this is, even this though this better. may be slower, this this is more realistic, yes. I feel. So nobody knows all of the work that goes involved to make this thing look good. Uh, we came up with nine different variations of how he's going to go and get up here. The things that we have to go and consider is the, uh, the camera position, um, how to be able to make this realistic. This is the original rock that we were going to use as the stunt, but it looked like anybody can go and do it. It didn't really make it feel that only Simon Z can go and make this jump. It shows his athleticism by coming up here and scaling a 12-foot post. Watching him do it the first couple times where his foot was slipping on the pole. <laughs> A lot. Exciting. And then he puts the sandpaper on the pole just so his foot can have traction. You said you have rubber for the for the sandals? Yeah, water bed. So Brandon. So what is it exactly? That's not the sandpaper. Rubber soap. So like oh, so that's like a tennis shoe bottom. Yeah. I love the coaching that they gave him. Yes. Just all the support. You're coming here. You're putting so much focus here. Look up here too. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Okay. You gotta go. There it, is. there it is. And then he gets up there and he does it again. But it's not just him that has to do this perfectly, it's the camera. So he's gotta do it just right, the camera's gotta do it just right. So if one of them is off, you gotta do the whole thing again. And man, I can only imagine he keeps getting more and more tired as it's going. So something so short that went by so fast is really an incredible stunt that took weeks of practice. Here we go. Man. So we've established that the casting directors did amazing by not casting Chris as Simon Z. We got to survive a crazy weather, mm -hmm. talk to some of the actors, and filmed an amazing action sequence. Which I also uh, duplicated that action sequence. Uh, felt pretty painful. Well, I actually succeeded doing it, so. Hit that subscribe button for what's coming next week.